Before Rabbi Nachman of Breslov passed away, he told his students that they would not need to appoint a successor after him because he would always be their rabbi. And indeed, no one did take his place, and Rabbi Nachman's spirit did guard and guide his followers. Many tales are told of how Rabbi Nachman of Breslov's spirit came to their assistance. One of these tales concerns Rabbi Nachman's chair. Shortly before Rosh Hashanah in 1808, the Shochet of Teplik brought Rabbi Nachman a beautiful chair that he had made for him. He had worked on carving the chair for many months with all the love in his soul. Everyone realized it was a very special chair, as beautiful and intricate as any throne, and the Breslov Hasidim regarded it as the throne of their Rebbe. Rabbi Nachman even dreamed that someone brought him a throne surrounded by fire. Everyone, men, women, and children, came to see it. Engraved on that throne were all the world's creatures, along with their mates. And as the people turned to go, bonds were formed between them, and marriages were arranged at once, for each had been able to find his mate. And in the dream, Reb Nachman sat down on the chair, and all at once he found himself flying through the heavens, and before him he saw Jerusalem glowing like a jewel in the distance. It was in indescribably beautiful, and as he approached it, he woke up. Rev Nachman shared his dream with his followers, and it became part of the lore of the chair. Rev Nachman used the chair all the days of his life, and when he passed away, his students kept the empty chair next to the ark, and they never forgot the last words of their Rebbe, that he would always be with them. The chair remained with the Breslovers until the Second World War, then, after the Nazis invaded, the Hasidim realized that they must escape as soon as possible. But what would they do with the chair? They decided to cut it into small pieces and to give one piece to every Hasid. Then they made a vow to meet in Jerusalem and to reassemble the chair there. And they took leave of each other and they set out, each on his own way, to reach the Holy Land. Now this was a very dangerous time and very few people escaped unharmed. But every Breslover who carried a piece of that chair arrived safely in Jerusalem, and there it was reassembled. And as much care was taken in restoring that chair as in repairing a shattered vessel. And when it was finished, the chair looked exactly as it did when Reb Nachman first received it. And it is standing today in the Breslover Synagogue in Jerusalem, next to the Ark. This story comes from a book called Gabrielle's Palace, Jewish Mystical Tales, selected and retold by Howard Schwartz. Yeah,